uh, user, Revit users, they have a lot of problems with the type names because the type names, uh, they, they are just regular text notes and um, one of the user can identify the type name with millimeters and another can um, add meters and other values and uh, even we are not sure if those values are really uh, the same values like in the width and height parameters. So if we would like to um, add some standards and if we want to make sure that those um, type names are really right names, uh, we can change those types automatically. So right now I will filter some doors from, from the library. We are going into the modify families. Here I will add modification name. So right now I'm going to modify my doors. Uh, here I'm, I have to add a person name who is trying to modify those families. Also, you can add some short description and some notes about uh, modifications you are planning to do. And uh, here in the separate dialog, we will get the list of our selected uh, doors and uh, type names. And like you see in the dialog, really th there is a mess with the type names. Right now, I will switch on uh, additional parameters like width and height. And let's say right now the type names has to be created um, according to the width and height that are used in our families. So right now I will select all those types and here we have created a new functionality with the name rename type names by configuration. Here you just have to add the rule how your type names will look like. So let's say I will use width and height parameters and uh, I will add some surfix uh, after the width parameter and um, also surfix in the end after the height parameter. Right now, after pressing OK, the tool will generate uh, for me new type names. And now we can close the dialog. We will save the process. And now we can run save modifications. And now the tool will uh, open every family and the tool will rename my families, um, my family types according to configuration that I did before. And actually that configuration can be various and you can add your own uh, configuration with your own rules, how the type name has to be generated. That's it. Uh, my selected door uh, families with its types are created and uh, after pressing OK we can check uh, those changes in our library. Let's go back into Smart Family Browser. I'm coming back into my library where I did the changes. Let's go into the door category and now let's check the type names. So that's it. Those type names, we will be always sure that they are really correct.